Hi, this is Chris with Destination Art, and today I am painting this really pretty um, barn and this really cool sky. So I did make a little mistake on the barn. You see the part that comes off um, the overhang there, the part of the barn on the front that comes off. I totally forgot to paint that. So as a reminder, make sure you check your reference materials. So I think I, I drew it properly. I just didn't, I, I put the shading for the side of the building in the wrong spot. So I wish I hadn't done that, but you know, I might go back and fix it. I'm not sure. So I have drawn the barn and some basic lines and now I'm just masking off the roof and the fence. And so what's different about this painting is I'm actually using my Bright palette. Um, if you watched my last video, I had purchased some um, Grumbacher paints and these are not those paints. These are the De La Rowney paints that I have and I'm actually finding that they react to the paper better than the Grumbacher because I think the Grumbacher are more of a student grade. So anyway, my professional grade paints behave better. Imagine that. So um, uh, in this video, since it's a little bit different, I am only using three colors. Um, I used a, um, I, it's a blue green. I'm not sure exactly the name of the blue that I'm using in the palette, but then also a magenta and a lemon yellow. And so um, I did mix the um, secondary colors there and then I'm using just those six. So only three colors, but I mixed three as well. Um, and so I'm, I actually changed the orientation of the um, the frame so that you can see my mixing because as you know mixing neutrals can be a bit of a challenge and so I don't have a brown and I don't have a gray so I had to mix all those so you'll get to see that process so uh, here I am starting on the clouds and uh, this is a speed paint and I'll just let you continue to watch I'll pick it up in a little bit
hope you enjoyed uh, this video and I hope you got something about um, just some information about the color mixing. I thought it was actually pretty interesting for myself, for me, uh, to really struggle to get the proper shades of brown and gray that I was interested in. You know, I have a, a larger palette which has um, a lot better colors. So I have a burnt sienna and I have um, an ultramarine blue which will give me a fabulous gray. But anyway, so it was good. I think it's a good exercise to really limit yourself to the three colors and then see what you can do. So I'm trying to actually fix some of my lines with um, when I was drawing with the mask and I'm trying to fix the shading. And I am, yes, um, I, I was discovering that my hand was not very steady this morning. So that's why I turned the painting so much so that I could take advantage of the best angle for my hand to work. And I, I just darkened that there just so the, the silo would pop up a little bit. And then I almost forgot to paint the leaves in, on the top where there was a tree that was overhanging. So, and oh, also the tree trunks. I used my thumbnail to scrape. Um, that's a, a Japanese guy that I like to watch. He does that a lot. I tried to use the kind of scraper tool at the end of my paintbrush and it didn't work. So that left indentations which will live, give you darker lines, but then I use my thumb, my fingernail actually to get the lighter lines. So, and I think I have a palette knife that will help me. I just haven't found it yet to do that. So anyway, um, if you like this video, please like and subscribe and then also leave a comment. And um, if you are interested in the colors that I'm using for my three different colors, I can put that in the comments too. If somebody's interested, please leave a comment and ask. So anyway, um, I hope you have a great day and thanks.